<laughs> well folks, today is going to be a little bit different. <laughs> As you can hear, uh, I'm in the chicken coop. <laughs> we, um, we've actually got two pens. Uh, we've got the main pen that has all of the chickens. And then we have an older rooster that is being dethroned. A lot of the other roosters are ganging up on him. So we moved him with a couple other hens over to this one. Anyways, uh, the whole purpose of this video, uh, Candace come out here and told me she saw a really large mouse or rat that was in this old building uh, eating their feed. So I thought what better subject than a mouse for a camera trap uh, video. So uh, tonight I'm going to come back in here and uh, set up my camera trap uh, with their bowl. And I actually thought of a really neat uh, photo for this. Um, have the wide angle macro lens right up on the edge of the food bowl uh, with the chicken's roost uh, on the back wall being lit as well so the mouse is actually stealing their food so I thought it could make potentially for an interesting photo so I thought what well, hey why not let's go ahead and make a video out of it as well so uh, it's late in the afternoon I'm gonna bring the camera trap stuff in here uh, get it set up find my composition and uh, see if we can photograph a mouse. Uh, I guess this is what happens when you're in quarantine and you can't go anywhere. So, um, hey, you can always find something to photograph and this is right here at home, so in the backyard. So let's get to it, set up the uh, camera trap stuff and go for it, see if we can get a photo of a mouse. So as you can tell, this is one of the uh, when well, this is our first chicken coop, and it's um, over the years it's gotten really bad. We were almost going to tear it down this year before we moved these other chickens back in it. But as you can see, there's holes um, starting to come into around the edges, and um, so mice have actually taken up in here. So they started to feed uh, on the chickens' feed. So and all this is is corn. Um, it's layer mash, and so um, this is where it normally sits. And I kind of imagined. Uh, putting the camera down low, um, top level of the bowl, try to get a picture of the mouse in it. And then uh, in the background, you can see this is the coop right here, this is the roost. Um, so uh, at least, uh, I think there's about eight or, about six or eight chickens in this particular pen. So there should be a few of them up on the roost. Maybe put a light up here, hitting them, and then a light right here where the mouse would be. So uh, I think it could turn out rather well. Um, I don't know. It, I see it as a challenge and a uh, challenge accepted. I'm going to definitely try it. So um, we're going to grab all the stuff and get it set up in here. But um, I'll wait just a little bit later in the day. Um, that way the chickens are in here getting on top of the camera trap. So I'm going to wait till almost dark to uh, set everything up. And then um, the, the mice should come out um, and, and feed on this, on this corn. So let's get to it. I'm excited to try it. Okay guys, I just finished setting up everything. I didn't want to set everything up until um, right before the uh, chickens go in to roost. And so once it gets dark, then I'll come back in and fill this uh, food bowl up all the way to the top. That way to entice the rats or mice to get right on top of it. So really quick rundown. I just got my camera just sitting here. Um, all my cases are actually uh, elevate the camera much higher so I decided to just literally just set the camera up it, it's not pretty at all but it'll work for tonight um, so uh, Canon Rebel here with Lawa uh, 15 millimeter macro wide angle uh, macro focused on the bowl shooting at f11 um, manual 125th of a second shutter speed with uh, ISO set around 800. Now I have three lights. I've got a light back here at the back that's lighting the background. That's gonna hopefully light the chickens that are on the roost. And I've used a red gel 
uh, to like them. So it's subtle, but you don't see a lot of good detail on those. Uh, the main light is to my right coming in and uh, and then there's no gel on that one and then the light that's right here has a light blue gel uh, just to add a little bit of uh, color and pop to it just to, to make it a, a little bit more pleasing to the eye and so um, and now what I'm going to do all I got to do now is hook up the cable to the sensor the sensor is right above uh, the bowl shooting straight down and so any time tonight when something moves in front of it hoping for small mouse or large mouse, large rat, uh, comes to feed on the bowl, then it will take a picture and it'll look something like that. And uh, so this is the test shot. This is what I'm looking, this is what I'm seeing. I got the bowl in the foreground and I've got the, you can see the roost behind. Uh, you can also see the, uh, the camera in there in the shot. But uh, so we've got uh, the background lit, the foreground lit, uh, with two lights, so it's a three light setup. Kind of complex, but uh, for <laughs> trying to photograph a mouse, but um, yeah, it's just fun. It's just it's, it's good stuff. Um, we'll see. Nothing may show up. I'm hoping something does. Um, we got rain coming in tomorrow, so I'm hoping the mice will sense that and I'll try to be feeding a lot tonight. So I've never sat out here and come out here at night. Uh, specifically looking for them so I have no idea uh, what is going to turn up uh, or if there anything's going to come to it or not uh, but anyways uh, it's looking pretty good I'm excited for it it's something very different I've never done anything like this and this is one of the first times I've ever uh, started to shoot with uh, gels I've always wanted to shoot with gels in the field uh, I just hadn't found the subject that I think it worked well with and so um, tonight since this is something new uh, I decided to go ahead and do some experimenting with gels and see how I like it and uh, and we go from there so so now all I have left to do is just hook up these the sensor to the camera and head into the house and wait till tomorrow morning I'll come out here and check it and see what showed up or if anything showed up so all right let's get out of here <laughs> Alright guys, just pulled the camera and uh, the camera trap worked pretty well. Uh, we got mice um, coming up into the food bowl. Um, I had uh, three at one time get on the bowl. They kind of walk around the rim of it uh, and then you can see some. They kind of dart in and out. They wouldn't sit there for a long period of time. But everything worked out really well. Uh, the lighting uh, looked pretty good. Uh, I was really happy with the lighting. Um, the red gel on that back flash that's lighting the chickens on the on the roost was perfect. I love that. And then the little bit of blue helped cool everything down in the foreground. Just told a really good story. I was very pleased with all of that. So I set it out for the one night and got you know pretty good shots. And then uh, it was raining the next night, so I pulled the camera out. Uh, and then brought it back in two days later. So I decided I'll break down this image for you. It's a really clean and simple composition. You have the round bowl right there in the foreground with the mouse in it. There's no question that is the subject. And then once you see the mouse, then your eye starts to really explore the rest of the frame. 
and within the rest of that frame you see the chickens on the roost in the background and the balance of that red light and the blue light just creates a very nice photograph uh, even though it is of a mouse it works it does it actually works and it's a nice photograph really good composition lots of color lots of pop and it makes uh, a subject that most people don't normally like you know really stop and look at it and think hey you know what that's actually pretty good and so um, that's just the power of photography so it's and it's all in lighting uh, and to really break down the um, the setup I had the camera set at a hundredth of a second um, the lens aperture was at f11 and I had the three lights and so the main light was at 130 second power um, bare bulb the side lighting with the blue filter was at one um, 30 second power and both of them were zoomed in to 35 millimeters on the flash manually and then the flash in the back was actually uh, set at 1 16th power with the red gel and I did 1 16th because that red gel um, actually made it much darker I can't remember exactly it was either one full stop or two stops difference when you add that gel in there so I bumped the power up to 1 16th and it worked out great uh, and so for camera trapping you want to keep your shutter speed um, below the sync speed of the flash so uh, the sync speed on the these Canon cameras are 1 200th of a second sometimes you can get by with 1 250th of a second it honestly depends on the camera but these uh, I don't get any of the shutter in the frame at a 200th of a second or lower and so uh, I left my shutter speed at that amount uh, to help pull in some light there's complete darkness so what's really lighting the scene is the three flashes and that's why I love camera trapping uh, is because I dictate where the lights coming from what direction uh, how bright it is what color it is I have complete control over my composition and final photograph and that's one reason why I really really love camera trapping and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video something a little bit different like I said before uh, just trying something new while stuck here at the house just goes to show you don't have to go all over the world to photograph wildlife you can do it in your backyard uh, just have to be able uh, throw in a little creativity but thanks for watching until next time see ya